Welcome to 100 Days of Minecraft, where each day I have to call a brand new dumb, stupid, or maybe even a useful mod to help me survive. And all of this whilst in Minecraft Hardcore, where one mistake could end it all. Oh no. And guys, quickly before this video begins, this video took a very, very long time to make. So if you guys could just quickly check if you liked and soup, that would be so awesome. Thank you guys. So without further ado, enjoy this Minecraft challenge. Minecraft Hardcore, but every single day, I called a brand new Minecraft mob and added to the game. This is gonna be an adventure, okay. And to top it all off, we're also in Minecraft Hardcore, because why not? Of course we are. I should stop talking, stop breaking wood before the mobs get you. We gotta take in how simple it is right now, because eventually, it's gonna get overrun with so many mods. Okay, I'm, I'm still talking. Let's go. This is our first 100-day video since, like, the dinosaurs. Okay, we spawned in a spruce biome. Not the best spawn, but, you know, we will... It will It'll do. Boom. Got an axe and a pickaxe. Stone Age. We did it, boys. We reached Stone Age. Video over. They're done. I lied to you all. Prank. Grab the saplings. We're gonna want some uh, resources. Aha! Getting an upgrade. I love getting upgrades. Let's get as much stone as we can before the first day comes over. Let's get out of here, boys. I'm so sorry, pal. Cool, let's go. Oh, hello, cows. Mo. Oh, we're heading into a plains, kind of. There's also ice. This biome generation is funky. I've already lost a heart. Not epic. Nom, 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 nom. <gasps> doggy. I have no bones for you, doggy, but I will return. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. That is bad. I'm just going to stay away from this snow biome. More coal. Village! Yeah, boy! Ooh, it's a snowy village. This is probably a good place to uh, stock up for the night. Oh, there's a lot of mobs as well. Sorry, piggy. I see you. Trying to hide from me. Dead. Cool. We got a village, boys. This is a good start. Armor. I will be needing this, sir. Oh, I can ride a piggy. Yes. Boop. Hey, we got some drip. Yeah. Hey, guys. What a bargain. I'm just gonna yoink this bed. I will actually stay near the village for the first few days. Ooh, this is a big village. This is quite a cozy village. I'm not gonna lie. Quite a cool village. I'll take this cozy house for the first night. Right. Let's go to bed. A new dawn, a new day. And you know what that means? A new mob. And our first mob. So this world is in an open new workspace. And this means I can make and code whatever mods. There are absolutely no limits. For the first day, I think we're going to go mining. So we're going to make a new tool. Big stone pickaxe. <laughs> Okay, I think it's done. Okay, right, we're back in. Plop down the crafting table. Right, what we're gonna do? First, collect a lot of stone. Okay, what we wanna do is make one stone pickaxe, another stone pickaxe. We have three stone pickaxes, okay. So if we put two sticks here, stone pickaxe there, stone pickaxe there, and a stone pickaxe there, we get, get the, the big, big stone, stone pickaxe. pickaxe. Oh, yes. This is the equivalent of three stone pick... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Skeleton, skeleton, skeleton. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Good thing I got my big dawn pickaxe. Okay, well, that was, that was a close one. Okay, let's mine. Oh, yes. Look at it go. Let's smelt all this food. Where are these mobs coming from? I need to be careful I don't fall. As I say that, I fall and take damage. Okay, I'm gonna grab all these crops. Sorry, villagers. Yoink. My potatoes now. Hello, sir. Any uh, items for me? Nope. Okay, I don't think I'll set base here. I think I'll explore for a little bit. I think we're gonna adventure. Ooh, igloo. And yoinky crops. Yoink, 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 yoink. Free lanterns as well. This looks promising. Let's go over here. Piggies. Gonna need your food. Boop. Let's travel the ocean blue. This is spawn. I'm literally right back where I spawned. Nice. nice. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. So it would seem. Bum, bum, ba -da bum, bum, ba -da bum, bum, ba -da bum. Oh, land. Land ahoy. Okay. I'm going to quickly sleep here for a second. Iron. Let's go. Oh, they're all here. Okay, there's a lot of mobs. Right, let's make a new mod. Let's add a new wood. Wood pack name. Uh, Fanta. Okay, there we go. There's all the Fanta. I then also made a Fanta biome because why not? I'm gonna add Fanta. This. And then it comes in a little bit like this. There we go. We've got our Fanta. Now we just gotta color this. This is gonna be Fanta orange. There we go. Yeah, I think that looks okay. We're back in. And because of my thirst for Fanta, I've now added Fanta into Minecraft. Let's set on this adventure to find the Fanta biome. Get as much Fanta as possible. Excuse me. I have no idea how long this might take. In the meantime, probably should get resources, food, and everything because we want to actually survive the 100 days. <gasps> I could get a companion. Doggy, please take this bone. Doggy, please. Yes! Oh, I got a new friend. Oh, I don't know what to name you yet, but I'm gonna think. We're gonna be best friends forever. And I, I'm gonna, we're gonna, yeah, me and Doggy. 
Village! Okay, this is good news. Ooh, this is nice. Is this a one-house village? There's no way. There's no way this is a one-house village. Okay, no. Villagers, I come in peace. I don't also because I'm going to kill your cows. I steal your crops. So maybe, maybe I don't I come in peace. Oh, there's more How? There's another village? In between two villages. This is perfect. Oh my... Well, would you look at this? Two villages. Oh, this one looks even bigger. A lot of bread. Let's get this bread. What are you... Oh, don't mind me, guys. Just grabbing your hay. I'm, I'm uh... Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. Just, uh... The, um, uh... Um... Yeah, uh, okay, doggy, let's get out of here. Ooh, this is a big, big old villain. <gasps> Creeper, no! Oh, I need to get a shield ASAP. Okay, we're gonna set up shop here above this massive entire village and ravine. Okay, gonna start on the house first. Okay, right, let's have these lanterns I got from earlier. This house is gonna become the Rennie Drag house. Okay, smelt this iron quickly. Right, let's quickly make this new mod. New dimension, cobble dimension. Oak log dimension. This is the igniter for the oak log dimension. You can tell I'm a professional artist. This dimension is gonna completely be oak logs. And you're probably thinking, well, dust might be a little bit OP because it's just infinite wood. Well, you see, this is why to craft the igniter, it will be a little bit expensive. Yeah. Okay, right, we're back in. First thing we're gonna do is make a shield. Heck yeah. Okay, I need to get some oak log saplings first. Probably should make a bridge across this as well. Okay, I'm gonna build the oak log dimension portal ready for when I get the igniter. Portal's done. Okay, just gonna wait until I get the igniter now. Doggy, you need to sit by the house just in case you fall. Probably expand that bridge in a little bit. We got a free farm as well. Is there any chests anyway? I'm gonna work on the house for a bit. Just gonna remove the roof here. Uh, this is all, literally all I've done so far, but what I'm gonna do is go actually go mining. This poor guy, he's just lost his house and he's probably so confused what's going on right now. Ooh, okay, this is a big task. Have I got my shield? I have. Oh, this is a big cave. Oh, iron already. Bingo. One misclick, one little slip could be the end of Renny Drag. Okay, we descend into darkness. Okay, I think we're down. Nice sleep while we're down here. So while I'm down here, I'm actually going to make a new ore because we're in the cave. We're mining. May as well add a new ore to Minecraft. Let's do this. Ore pack name. Lime. Let's make a Renny Drag lime ore. Lime ingot, lime ore, lime block. Let's make a lime dagger. Here is me designing and creating this lime dagger or something. I think that's the lime dagger done. Okay, we're in the cave. Now we can find the brand new lime ore. Um, I should get iron and stuff as well because I need I need to be out of danger right now before I get way over my head in danger. Oh, that was close. That was too close. Oh my, my heart just stopped. Ow. Okay, I probably shouldn't go too far either because I'm gonna get lost. Small brain ready drag. Okay, we haven't even got a Fanta yet and I would like some Fanta. Okay, obviously there's a lot of this cave to explore, but I'm gonna go back up to surface, make sure I've got enough everything before I come down here. Let's get out of those are the cords to my house. I'm gonna go to hunt to find the phantom biome. I'm just gonna run in a straight line until something happens. Get a night. I'm just gonna sleep out here for a sec. We've got a, over a stack of hay bale. That's a lot of food. Guys, I'm gonna make new material. It's gonna be called mob. This is the mob material. <laughs> okay, guys, I've made everything from the mob pickaxe to the mob axe to the mob sword. This There's a lot of mobbing going on. We can even make mob armor. Whoa, that's a big cave. Is that lime? <gasps> guys, I think we found our first lime. Oh, please don't die. Ooh. Ow. There it is. Lime. Lime ore. Okay, let's grab some of this lime. Okay, well, never mind. Turns out you need iron pickaxe. I just lost the lime. Shipwreck. Ooh, ruined portal. Ooh, awesome. Okay, so I, I didn't find a phantom biome. Found a ruined portal. Made some mob tools and, and stuff. But uh, yeah, no phantom biome. This is an L. We took an L today. Oh well, we move. I'm just gonna sleep on this mountain. Oh, home sweet home. No phantom biome. New mod time, baby. I'm actually gonna make a painting and I'm gonna name it Soup. There we go. I think that looks okay. Let's craft a painting. Let's see if this worked. Sheep. Yoink. Boom. Okay, please work. <gasps> yes, I saw it. <gasps> I <d> <gasps> Guys, I think you should do what this painting says. Possibly. Maybe. I'm just gonna put it on a dirt. Yeah! Brand new painting in Minecraft, guys. Soup. Okay, I got a few things that I wanna do. The first thing is, so I've made all these new mods for Minecraft, right? I haven't actually got these mods yet. I have- I don't have Fanta. Just stack it up on iron armor as well. Let's go find one of the new ores and, and new mods, I guess. I'll try and get an igniter for the wood dimension. Coolio. Let's go mining, boys. Descend down the mountain. I wanna find some of the new ore. We gotta find lime ore. And maybe the mob ore. Nothing down here. Uh oh, okay. Here's some stuff. Hello, creeper. Okay, I think I can sleep in this cave for now just to at uh, night. Lovely, lovely. I think I'm gonna add the first mob to the mod. Be a cute little block mob. But let's make a nice smiley face guy. <laughs> yeah! I wanna give this little guy a top hat. Give this guy a little top hat. He's gonna be our new addition. I wanna make this guy tameable. He's gonna be, uh, gonna be Bob. Heck yeah! Welcome, Bob. Okay, we can now find our brand new Bob, which is cool. Bob can spawn anywhere at any time, so we gotta keep an eye out. Okay. Aha! Another cave. I then did a lot more mining to get resources, and also I was
was debating what monster to make next. Like, maybe a gun? An iron gun? You good down there, pal? Ooh, emerald. I thought that was lime for a second, but it's just emerald. Rip. Okay, I'm gonna start to terraform this area. There's a cave down there, so first off, I'm gonna make a staircase down. Hello, villager. So let's do that. With some work and effort, I made the foundation for the stairway. Great, I made a water slide. This is this is a really awesome water slide. Definitely. Pretty chill. Let's go to bed. I'm gonna need some extra tools and extra help. I think it's time to add new tools to the game. The awesome iron pick. Awesome iron shovel. It's gonna be a spoon. Okay, we're back in with new iron tools. Is that who I think it is? Oh my, oh, it's Bob. Bob, Bob, what happened to you? I need to fix Bob. This is not Bob. What, uh, uh, yeah, hang on a second. <gasps> Bob's here. He's dripping. Bob is dripping. That's okay. We love Bob. Nick Mana. Bob, don't look at me. I'm so sorry. This this is for science, Bob. Turn around, Bob. Don't look. Don't look, Bob. <laughs> Bob. No. On the good news, though, Bob drops Fanta. Yeah. Can I make Bob love me? Bob, drink the Fanta. You can tame Bob with Fanta. Okay, let's check out the new tool that I've added. Take this iron shovel with two sticks. It's just oh, awesome iron spoon. 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 Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. It's a super shovel. Look at this spoon go. But this is not the only thing that I've added. If we uh, do make a pickaxe, we take the three pickaxes like this. Two pickaxes. The awesome iron pick. It's awesome. Yes. We don't need uh, the big stone pickaxe anymore. Chuck, we can chuck that. The same day, I also realized that the awesome iron pickaxe didn't look awesome enough. So I changed the design. Now this looks like an awesome iron pickaxe, if you ask me. There we go. The awesome iron pickaxe is ready to use. Damn, so many bobs around. Look at all these bobs. There's just a lot of bobs. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, 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 okay. You kill a bob, and if we drink this Fanta, we get a speed boost. I should make a bob farm. I then set off to make a bob farm so I could farm as many Fantas as I want. Let's go, Bob. The Adventures of Any Dragon Bob. Bob is a chunky boy. Oh, you could fit. Oh, wow. But it was hard to get the bobs into the pen. I'm gonna make a bob farm when I have leads. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna sleep, sleep, sleep. New mod! For today's mod, it was a cobblestone dimension. An easier and efficient way to get cobblestone. Okay, cobble, cobble, iron. It's a new day, boys. There's one thing that I quickly wanna do. Cobblestone, cobblestone, iron, cobble portal igniter. Now, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Three, two, one. <gasps> it's the cobblestone portal. Three, two, one. Uh-oh, here we go. It's just, just cobblestone. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's bobs here. Hey, bobs. I'm gonna steal your Fanta. I'm so sorry, Bob. I'm so sorry. But I, I need Fanta. Even though this is really pointless because the, this is basically the overall. Well, but you know, it's fine. It's the cobblestone dimension. This is where if I need farm cobblestone, this is where we'll go. Anyway, let's head out here for now. And let's actually get diamonds and progress. Okay, I'm actually gonna start a little bit of a mine so I can try and find diamonds as well. So I can have access to the wooden ore portal. I think that'd be really cool. Start a cheeky 3x3 three three mine. Okay, I need to make a lot of spoons for this though. A job for a lot of spoons. It's spoon time, baby. And that was the beginning of the 3x3 three three runny drag mine. Yeah, I think this video is gonna be very long. This might be the beginning of the the Rennie Drag cinematic universe. Let's get in nighttime. Let's sleep. Let's sleep. Okay, we're mining a lot of blocks, so I'm gonna make a miner helper. There, this is the miner cistern. The mine helper is gonna give you haste when in your inventory, but it's gonna be expensive. You need two iron pickaxes, one diamond pickaxe, and an emerald with some cobblestone. I wanna get to the wood biome, and I also want the miner helper. So uh, we're gonna need to find diamonds as soon as possible, really. So um, yeah, let's keep let's keep mining. Let's keep mining. And Mining, I did. I set on my quest and journey to find diamonds. This is hardcore Minecraft, and I'm gonna mine down. I'm mining straight down. <gasps> that was such a bad idea. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? It could have been. It could have been over there. I could have. I've already been here. There's a torch right there. A miner two by two. I like the big brain inside of my brain. I this time dug down with a two by two. Big brain time. This is the first cave that I have found that has the stirred dirt uh, new stone. Oh, no thanks, no thanks, no thanks. Let's drink some Fanta. Gotta drink some, gotta love some Fanta. I gotta be so careful that I don't get lost. Good thing I got my Fanta. Speeding through the caves. Gonna grab the gold so I can make golden apples as well. Oh, that is loud. I'm an idiot. I used all my wood and I don't have a crafting table. That is so stupid of me. Why have I done that? That is the smallest brain play I could. Okay. <gasps> diamonds, baby. Let's go. The first diamonds of the, of the series. Yeah, boy. Okay. There's a lot of things we can do right now. Actually, there's not because I don't have a crafting table. But when I get back to the surface, there's a few things we can do. We can make the wood igniter and also a miner assistant. Oh, we've done a full circle. I know where I am. I was really lucky. We just kind of popped out right here. Right, let's climb back to the surface. Let's go. Use the Fanta. Climb up quicker. Meow. I need to protect the mobs, even though I kill them for Fanta. Uh oh, there's a lot of mobs. That's a lot of mobs. Let's go sleep. Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna need your bed. <gasps> there's so many creepers. There's so many Google. There's so many mobs. Dead. <gasps> 
Oh. If I'm not mistaken, I can put iron pick like this, iron pick like this. Heck. Yeah, mine helper. Here to help you mine. Yeah. <gasps> Haste. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking, boys. Now we're talking. Hopefully, this water will travel all the way down. I can turn this into a water elevator then as well, which I think I'll do eventually. But uh, with my mine helper now, I'm going to actually finish the house because this is definitely a house. Uh, m maybe, kind of. Is I don't even. <laughs> Speed. We grab the nine wood like this. Easy. Emerald, diamond, iron. Boom. Oak log portal igniter. Head over here. Boop. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, we have the two portals now. Let's, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Bob. Bob's here. Hello, Bob's. I'm going to quickly grab you for Fanta. Sorry, Bob's. I am so sorry. I need your Fanta. I, I need as much as your Fanta as I can get. Speed. Let's get mine in. This may take a bit. It is just oak log as far as the eye can see. Okay. We are getting a lot. A lot of wood tonight, baby. Oh, it's on fire. Oh, no, I didn't think about that. This might cause some lag. Can I put this out? Oh, I can hear the lava. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe it's not a good idea to be in here for long because it's going to start lagging and uh, we don't... <laughs> Uh-oh, the fire is spreading. Okay, right, let's just go. Let's go back through. Oh, okay. Okay, right, let's get building the house because that's one thing that I need to work on. Yeah, right, let's just do a little bit of the house. Brrr. And then I decided to go mining for cobblestone because I needed that for my new house. And I also needed to finish the cobble path stay away for, for my mine. So, uh, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. I need to be careful. Yay, there we go. Stone path's done. Oh, there's monsters nearby. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That, how am I not hitting the zombie? Okay, right, let's make a new mod. Ranged item. Okay, we're gonna make the iron... Okay, there's gonna be multiple guns. This is the iron gun. It's not gonna do as much damage. Actually, wait, we gotta give it some flare. Pew, pew. Okay, boys, it's time to craft the iron gun. Uh, oh, I can't even afford it. That is... But now, I'm gonna quickly do some more of the house. In today's day, we gotta make the house. Speed. I wonder if I have enough cobble for this. Maybe. Quickly. One, two, three, four. Oh. Iron gun. Pew, pew. I'm, I'm facing it the wrong way. I have no bullets. This is a sad day. There we go. The gun's pointing the right way now. Okay, right. Let's quickly craft bullets for this bad boy. Two iron. One cobblestone. Iron bullet. Heck yeah. Unsuspecting target. Villager. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> the bullet just shoots sideways. Yes. Physic. Give me a villager. I need to shoot. Okay, let's test on the cow. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Let's go! Gun in Minecraft! It can't be a Rennie Drag mod video without a gun. Quickly do this. This is an ugly house. I've only now realized. Ah, I'll fix her eventually. Oh. Okay. Oh. Basement time. Maybe this was your house. I'm so sorry. You're in the basement now. <laughs> Gamers, are you ready for this epic 360s trick shot? <laughs> Bam! Oh, it doesn't it actually okay that we need to upgrade to the diamond gun soon <laughs> It doesn't even one shot skeletons. What the heck that was lag. that was lag. Blah, 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 like I was lagging guys I wasn't cranking hard enough get a little bit more cobblestone. What can we make today? Hum 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 hum. Run in a new building block pressured cobble. Yeah, okay two cobbles boom Pressured cobblestone heck. Yeah, let's get a lot of this. Oh, no stay back Okay, all right, let's give the floor an upgrade with pressured cobblestone. cobblestone. I'll turn all this cobblestone into pressured cobblestone just to give it a different kind of feel. Heck yeah, pressured cobble floor. Yeah. Right, I want to go and set out and actually find the Fanta biome, the lime ore, the more bore. There's so many mods that I just haven't found yet because it just spawns in the terrain. Which And yeah, time to find morb and Fanta and lime. Find this Fanta biome. We venture forth. The ocean blue. Let's go. What is down here? Holy smack. Okay, well, if I'm going to find it, it's, this is going to be the place because this is a lot of cave. Iron. That's cool and all, but where is my mob? Hello, glow squids. Oh, we found lime. Yes. Woo! Finally. Oh, boys, we got lime. That took long enough. But I'm glad we finally did it. We finally found lime. No, glow squid. No. RIP glow squid. You will be missed. I think we found Morb as well. <laughs> oh, please. Please let this be Morb. <gasps> Morb. Guys, we got two Morbs. Oh, my God. Okay. This is the hunt for Morbs. Oh, my gosh. There's already more Morbs. We're on a Morb streak, guys. We're on a Morbin roll, baby. Why do I speak? The meme's probably dead by the time this video comes out. Okay. Actually, that's one thing I wanted to test, right? We can use this lime. Okay. We plonk crafting table. We do two stick. Two lime. Boom! Lime dagger. Heck yeah. Okay, this is what we needed right now. This dagger has speed. Yeah. We need to find more mob. Five mobs is not enough mobs. You can never have enough mobs. Only true fact shit on the Renny Drive channel. Uh-oh, creeper. Go away. I will shoot you. Don't get in between me and my mob. Stab. 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 Bye-bye. There it is. Morb in a he helmet shape. Oh, yes. Morb 
helmet. Oh, it's the mob helmet. I'm grabbing all this iron for iron bullets. Ooh, look at this lush cave. I haven't actually fully experienced this new generation. I gotta say, this this is sick. I love this. It is a new day, so we're gonna make a new mod. Let's do this. I have an idea for a glass. Renny glass. Heck yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot more mob where this came from. A big cave means more mob. Oh, heck yeah. Mob is a valuable resource though. Lava, let's go check out the lava. Let's see if there's any diamonds as well. We have jackpot today. Anything for the mob. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is an underwater cave. I don't want to drown either, so play this safe. Oh, I'm in a bit of a pickle right now. I won't lie. I won't lie, guys. Guys? I won't lie, guys? In a bit of a pickle. We're gonna mine ourselves out here. We're gonna mine all day, mine all night. Oh, freedom! Yeah, boy! That took a lot longer than expected, but we finally have mob. And I have my cool, slick, dapper mob helmet. And it is also dead night. Big mountain in the way! I need to sleep, sleep, sleep. Bed is occupied. Not anymore. Okay, I'm gonna run home to make the new mod, and then we should be good. It's the village, yeah. Yeah, home sweet home. Okay, right, time to make the new mod. Uh, let's make a new mob. I'm gonna make a can of Coke. <laughs> yeah, that looks exactly like cola. What do you mean that doesn't look like Coca-Cola? Push. Cola. Hello, doggy. Okay, I want to travel to the Fanta dimension. That's one thing on the list. So actually, I'm going to do that first. Put everything away first. Okay, I'm actually going to go collect the bobs first. <gasps> it's Coke. Okay, 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 okay. Kill the bobs first. Sorry, bobs. I need, I need your Fanta. I'm, I'm so sorry. I am so very sorry, bobs. Coca-Cola. <gasps> They're so tiny. They're so tiny. <laughs> oh, they attack. Oh, oh, that cola is angry. That is an angry Coca-Cola. Oh, hey, buddies. I'm gonna steal you. Come back. Ow. They don't like you when I hit them. Don't mind me, Coca-Colas. <laughs> they're so tiny. They're so small. They're so just like, they're so cute. And you, Bob. Right, that's the main quest. Quickly, we gotta collect some Fanta. We gotta collect Bobs. Let's go quickly, quickly go back. No. Where am I? How far away am I? Got a miner, boys. Oh, I didn't even have my miner helper. I'm such an idiot. It took me a while, but I had to mine all the way out of this cave and find my way home. Oh, this comes out right by my mine. Nice. Okay. Don't mind me, piggies. Okay, so if we combine log, Fanta log. Yes. Oh, the cork's here as well. Give me a bob. How's there a villager in here? Hey, buddy, you lost? You stuck in the orc dimension? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let's go. Fanta, oak log. Two Fanta planks together makes the Fanta dimension portal igniter. Okay, let's add a new portal to our collection. One, two, three. Here we go. Dumb, dumb. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go! Fanta dimension! <laughs> I love Fanta, let me tell you. Three, two, one. Oh my, it is all Fanta. It is all... Oh, let's go! It's all Fanta. This is a lot of Fanta. Hey, Bob. <gasps> Fanta trees! I gotta say, now we are talking. Let's grab as much Fanta wood as we can while we're here. While we're in the Fanta dimension. This is so dumb. Fanta. Boop. Heck. Freaking. Yeah. Let's add a little bit of decoration to the house. Fanta leaves. Fanta leaves. Stick. Mob. 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 Sword. It's mobbing time. Suppose a bat. Go bats. Awesome pickaxe is back in action. Among us. Okay, I need to get sand. I see sand. It's in the distance, but I see it. Grab all this sand. I'm gonna need the sand for glass. So I can turn the glass into Renny for glass. Mob in time. Right, I need to make a mob chest plate. Heck yeah. Boom. Renny glass. And it's not transparent. But you know what? That's fine. Okay, it's me. It's Renny for glass. You can't see through it, but if you actually right click on this, eh, soup. To ready drag soup, which we you should definitely do right now. One thing that I was set on doing throughout this was changing my house from orc logs to Fanta logs because why not? My my house needed an upgrade. It was looking boring. I set off into the Fanta biome to collect as many bobs as I could and as many Fanta logs as I could to use for the roof. After killing bobs and collecting Fanta logs, I headed back home. I thought it'd also be quite funny to use uh, Renny glass for my windows because I needed windows to see out of. So I started yeah I, I used Renny glass for the house just to spice it up a little bit. Plus Plaster my face all over the walls. Great. That, that's fun. Okay, guys. I came to a scientific conclusion. If I use the Rennie glass, and I had no intention of doing this. If I use the Rennie glass, I could actually x-ray and see through blocks. And I, this is a mistake with End Creator. I have no idea what's happened here. But um, I guess it's part of the game now. And there's just nothing I can do about it. Oops. Next day now. And the next mod was kind of rather interesting, I'd say. 
Uh, this is the lovely texture that I drew from my new mo epic mod. And then I popped down the mine to go on another Renny Drag solo adventure to get resources, like bullets, for my gun. I found a few interesting things, like this minecart chest that had a few resources in it. It was okay. These spiders tried poisoning me, but little did they know I had Fanta and Cork. Ah, fools on you, spider. I spent a stupid amount of time in this cave looking for resources that I needed, but it was worth it because I came out with coal and iron. I then turned the exit that I dug out of into a little mine shaft behind my house. It was the next day now, and it was time to add a new mob. It was time to add Renny Dragon. I started off the day by smelting iron and making iron bullets. The plan for today was going to the nether and making progress on beating the ender dragon. But before I went, I had to make some improvements to my home base. I popped into the orc dimension to get some resources and that's when I found something rather interesting. Um, it's me! Hi Renny Dragon. Okay, well I'm going to attack. Oh my god, I do a lot of damage. I drop lives! Why That's cool. Damage. Okay, right, let's go back. Too many me's. Too many me's. Now, realizing I only had iron armor for the bottom half, I'm gonna need some more stronger armor. If this is more armor, lime armor, or even diamond armor, I needed some upgrades, and I needed these upgrades quick. And good thing I did spend all this long, precious time mining, because eventually, after mining for so long, I ran into diamonds. Yes. Good thing I took my bed because I could go for a cheeky kip in the cave. You've probably been waiting for this. I asked you guys on my community tab on YouTube, what mod should I make? And uh, some of you came through with, um... <laughs> So here I am, modeling an Among Us mob for the newest mod. It's almost like we have an imposter among us. Among Us. And I also missed the mod for the day I was in a cave, so I also added Among Us wood. I spent another day mining, looking for even more diamonds, even more resources, and in the process, I found this little guy. A mug! I love a mug! Hello, a mug. What is it? What do you do? Can I hit you? Oh, a mug's not happy. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. A mug is not like this. Ow. Okay, well, let's see if we kill a mug. He's angry. He's always really angry. Oh, a mug wood wood. I love <laughs> a mug wood wood. A mug wood planks. Oh heck yeah, look at this. Quite cool. Okay, anyway, let's get back to the surface. And there I was, after a hard long day of mining, I ascended to the surface with lots of diamonds and a mug wood in my inventory. Heck yeah. Back on the surface now, and I was using the new blocks that I got from mining to upgrade my house. Realizing that I didn't get any obsidian from my mining trips, I set out to find an ancient nether portal so I could steal the obsidian for my own nether portal. And lucky for me, there was a chest nearby with a few extra items that I could use. At the end of this obsidian-filled adventure, I finally got enough obsidian for a nether portal and made my way home by nightfall. Right, gamers, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a new plant today. Renny, Renny plant. Something like this. Haha, -ha, I'm a I'm a genius. <laughs> I look so bad. I'm gonna add it anyway, because why not? I'm gonna add another plant as well. This one's gonna be happy. Yay, happy plant. Today, gamers, we are going to the nether. Wish me luck. I'm probably gonna try not to die straight away. That would be really bad. Already taking damage as I say that. Okay, I get it. Die. And this. There we go. We got four portals to the collection now. Okay, I need to make a farm as well before I go, like, die. I'm gonna bring a lot of food. So let's quickly make, like, a cow farm. So slow. Come on, cows. You got this, I believe. Make love. Cow farm achieved. Epic. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, okay. That's a good start, I think. Okay, I think it's coming along quite nicely. Let's pop into the nether. I want to see our nether spawn. Ooh, we are trapped in, I think. No, no, no. Okay, we're good. The awesome pickaxe is just too awesome for the nether. I'm also going to quickly go bob farming because I need a lot of Fanta. But as I went to farm bobs, a problem had occurred. When I went through the portal, it sent me back through the portal because the dimension was corrupted, which meant I was now stuck underground and I had to find a new cobblestone portal. Oh, no. Something bad has happened. What I don't know what. It's me. Shame on you. Why it's me and Among hanging shame out down here. What's going on, guys? Get the wood, and I'm also gonna kill me. Sorry, me. Oh, you do a lot of damage. Why do I do so much damage? If I die to me, that would be the most ironic, worst thing ever. And good thing I didn't die to me. I live to see another day in the new cobblestone dimension. Whoa, what has happened here? I could have died. Oh, there's a lot going on. And I broke the portal. And now I had a bigger problem on my hands. The creeper just blew up the cobblestone portal. Yeah! Take this, zombies. And this. Dumb. Okay, Bob, I am so sorry. And cork. No, come back, Bob. Okay, I'm kind of in a bit of a pickle right now. Okay, let's build another portal. Hum. Dead. Can I sleep here? Don't have a bed. I think I could just change the mod to change the recipe. Other than that, I think I'm a bit kind of in a pickle right now. They're like, what do I do? Stuck in the cobble dimension for forever. Good thing I know how to mod because I just modded in a new recipe for the cobblestone igniter. And we were already on our way out of here. And by nightfall, we made it home with our newly acquired Fantas. Monsters nearby? Excuse me? Spider? I'm confused. Where's the monsters? Hmm? Where? On my house? On my roof? Where is this spider? I hear a spider. Or oh, is the spider invisible? Spider's somewhere. Aha! Dinky. Let's make a new mob. Yeah, let's do it. 
it. Okay, this, is, this sounds insane, but I want to make a helicopter. Yes. Okay, this is the base for the helicopter. It's gonna be like this. Yes. It is helicopter time, baby. This is <laughs> I swear this I swear this is uh, supposed to be a helicopter, nothing else. We do the helicopter propeller. <laughs> this looks like a helicopter. Okay, now we paint the helicopter. I'm thinking same for these down here. Boop de bop boop bop beep boop. <laughs> helicopter. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get this in Minecraft. I want to see what this looks like. Eh. Okay, I'm kinda scared that if I start controlling the helicopter, it just runs away and then I fall and die. So I'm gonna test it before um I bring into hardcore minecraft so let's quickly do that oh the new plants are here copter spawn egg <laughs> what is that um helicopter look at me go i'm flying on a helicopter oh i can't control if it goes oh, oh okay that's why we didn't want to do it in survival mode it likes to spin. Look at him go. You can't actually go up and down with the helicopter. It kind of just spins. Yeah. Other than that, this this is this works okay. And after a bit more modding, I finally got it to work. Yeah, it works. Okay, that is so much better. Look at him go. Yeah. How's the farm looking? We also need to find helicopter now. Just have a little peek into the nether for a bit. See if we can find anything. I'm gonna make a cobblestone path because I don't like getting lost in the nether. I'm not gonna lie. My least favorite thing in Minecraft is getting lost in the nether. Brrr. I need to be careful though, I don't fall into lava. Okay, I found a mug. There's a mugs down here. Oh, I also hear piglins. <gasps> a mug. What are you doing down here, mug? We have entered the nether. Oh boy. Right, I'm gonna get a little more dirt and cobblestone to uh, make a little path. Okay, take the cobblestone path all the way back. Don't wanna get lost. Let's grab some stone. Uh, what else can I grab? Heck yeah, among wood. It's so ominous and quiet. So now I was on my quest to finding the fortress. And I will admit, I wasn't prepared at all. Uh oh. This isn't good. Oh, I'm gonna shoot you. Return to sender. Bop. Okay, let's just have a look around for a bit. Is this what I think it is? Wait a minute. Uh, uh, huh. <laughs> no. At this point, I had spent too much time looking for the fortress with no results. So I decided to head back home. Wait, we're back. Okay, cool. That's the nether. Let's sleep. And also, I'd probably get more powerful armor before I go. Let's get this P though. But before I sleep, I had to quickly do one thing. It's the P waterfall. How majestic. Okay, let's leave. This mod might probably be one of the most useful mods of the series. A heart container from, like, Zelda, which gives me an extra heart. And I think that would be really cool, but it'll be expensive. It'll be expensive to get an extra heart. That's a cool idea. So, yeah, let's, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And now for the fun part. I had to come up with a design for this heart container, and I was thinking a Renny Drag heart. A heart with my face on it, maybe? Now, this heart is going to be pretty OP. It's going to give me a permanent heart. That means it's going to be expensive. It's going to cost netherite, emeralds, diamonds, gold, mob, some mods that I've made. So, now I'm on my quest to gain extra permanent hearts. Okay, we're back in with a few extra mods. Okay, I need to start getting ready for hearts. I I think the first thing I want to do is get Among Us pickaxe. Start preparing to get some Renny Drag hearts because I want extra hearts. That would be really cool. This is where we're going to prepare to get stuff for the Renny Drag heart. Realizing I needed more emeralds for the heart, I had to do a few trades with villagers. Four emeralds. That'll do. That'll do. Netherite. That is the next step. I finally went out mining for netherite and straight away, this happened. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Eat, 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 eat. Okay, I need to get fire protection as well. Okay, that is why. That is why we hold shift. That is why we shift. That is why we shift in our lives. Mm hmm. A mugging get. I think that looks like Among Us. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah. Bob, it took a while, but I finally got down to the Y level I needed to strip mine for netherite. Okay, I'm gonna need to get beds. Okay, this is how we're gonna get each debris. Night time. Let's go bed. Betty buys. I was thinking to myself while sleeping, man, I wish there was an easier way to make beds. Oh, wait. I introduced to you the cobblestone bed. Yeah, cobble bed. Okay, uh, how do we... Uh... Okay, we're back in. First things first. Okay, let's get all the cobblestone that I can get and all the wood I can get because now we can craft cobble beds. Three there. Ooh. Cobble bed. Uh, <laughs> um, the same size as me. Now, to mine for netherite, I'm going to need as many cobble beds as I can get my hands on. 41 cobblestone beds. That should be enough, right? Yeah, it should be enough. Let's go look for netherite, boys. That wasn't a very good idea. Okay, let's blow up some things. Oh, okay, my heart's going. I don't want to die. Holy... Okay, it's time to make the Among Us pickaxe. That's not laggy at all. Netherrack pickaxe. Now, I was in a bit of a pickle because I was in the netherite mines with no wood, with no materials to make a pickaxe. I was in a bit of a pickle. But then I thought, netherrack yeah, pickaxe. Okay. Best genius idea ever. Big brain plays. Yes. <gasps> netherite! 
A day had passed, and the next mod on the list was netherite spaghetti. Food you can make out of netherite. So after exploding a lot of cobblestone beds, I finally found quite a bit of netherite ancient debris scraps. I eventually got home and smelted the ancient debris. I made an extension for the Among Us ingot mod, and I made Among Us armor. Okay, right, let's farm some Among ingots. I'm so sorry, Among. Look, look away, Among. Yoink. Okay, boys, it's time. It is, it's time to get ready hot. It's time to get an extra hot oh, Okay, I've made it, so it's expensive. If we grab netherite inga, one cork, a dab of Among Us inga, <laughs> diamond, emerald, gold, iron, lime, mob. Okay, we chuck all of these in. Mob, netherite, cork, Among Us, gold, iron, diamond, emerald, lime. There it is, the extra ready heart. Extra heart, baby! Grab this. Oh, yes. Oh, look, it's me. We right click. <gasps> We have an extra heart. Let's go. Okay, right. Before we do anything stupid or crazy, I'm going to need to get myself a lot of extra hearts. I need to get rid of this iron armor. And I've added, in this newest mod, boots with Among Us Inga. A mug boot. A mug boots. We need to farm a lot of materials. Get a lot of netherite, because what am I missing? Okay, I'm missing mob. I'm going to need more diamonds. We're going to need more netherite as well. There we go. A mug boots. Okay, do I, do I have enough to make a mug leggings? Maybe. We're going to need to get a lot more mug. The next day, I expanded further on the Among Us mod, I promise, for the last time. But I added the Among Us dimension. For the portal, I'd need Among Us wood. And I'd also need an Among Us igniter. And to get these things, I'd need to kill a mug. Lucky for me, though, I had some spare a mug lying around the place, so I just grabbed that for the portal. Ooh, new portal to add to, again to the collection. We now have five, and we have this mysterious a mug portal. Okay, gamers, let's go in. I'm so not ready for this. Huh. Another day, another dimension. Oh my lord, what is going on here? <laughs> Everything's red. Amugs, yes, I need you for armor and I need you for tools. Oh, sorry, Amugs. And also, if I'm not mistaken, I can grab all this Among Us wood. <gasps> here it is. The Among Us all. <gasps> Among Us ingot. Okay, right, let's mine this stuff. We need this. We need a lot of this for heart and for armor. Look at this Among Us barren wasteland of dying trees. Oh, that's me. The land of Among Us is dying slowly. It's a decaying meme. Has been. Right, let's get all this in. Let's get out loud here. I wanted something to remember the Among Us biome. So I plopped this little Among Us right on the door. Among Us. With my newly acquired iron ingots from the, from the Among Us dimension, I crafted myself a brand new Among Us pickaxe. And this pickaxe, it wasn't your ordinary pickaxe. Look at the Among Us pickaxe. Okay, we're talking hammer time now. This is gonna make it a lot easier to mine. We're gonna make a lot of progress with this. It was then time to put the Among Us ingots to good use and craft a full set of Among Us armor. And at the end of the day, I was working on the farm, expanding the farm and breeding cows. I decided to add an Ender City biome. This biome corrupts the overworld with End Stone and End City, and it looks really cool. You'll have to see. Back in the overworld now, and I wanted to get my suit painting up, and I spent an embarrassing amount of time getting this suit painting up. But I just, I just needed you guys the soup. Make sure to tap the soup. Thank you, guys. And also, soup to my second channel. Guys, if you want to see more of uh, me, Renny Drag content, then you should definitely subscribe to my second channel. I'll leave it in the description down below. But make sure to do that after you finished watching this video, because I like money. And now we return to the awesome content of me mining for hours to get netherite. Mining for netherite has never been easier, because now I have the Among Us pickaxe, and this thing breaks a lot of blocks. Boom. Booyah. Yes, finally. First age of debris. Oh, 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 ow, 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 ow. As one of the mods, I decided to add a new music disc to Minecraft. And you guys will hear this eventually. We're gonna leave it as a mystery. Ooh. I was back at it again, exploring cobble beds to find as much netherite as I could to make those hearts. I spent a lot of time looking for netherite. I also made a few mods that you'll see later on in the video. I'd like to introduce to you our newest addition mob. It's the leather mob. Yep, this this is literally a crafting table with leather on it. This uh huh. I, this is truly a a mob that I have created. Finally, back in the overworld, I've realized that I have a lot, and I mean a lot, of netherrack. So I'm gonna need to build some way to store all this netherrack. Altogether, I had acquired eight scraps of netherite, so I made two netherite ingots. I was hoping that I had enough to make more Renny Drag hearts, and then I realized I was actually low on diamonds. But that doesn't matter because I could still make one extra Renny Drag heart. This would only mean the next day I would have to go out looking for as many diamonds as I could get. 
This was probably one of my favorite mods ever. When you consumed this portion, it would teleport me back home. This was perfect for me because I wanted to go on long, far adventures. Only problem was, to get this portion, I would need to brew with diamonds. And at the moment, I didn't have any diamonds left. So you know what that means? I was on another mining trip to get as many diamonds as I could get. On my way mining, I ran into some pesky silverfish that were trying to kill me, which wasn't very cool. And by using the power of the Among Us pickaxe, I found finally ran into my first batch of diamonds. I carried on mining in a 3x3 straight line, and I gotta say, the efficiency was very quick, and it wasn't too long before I found my next batch of diamonds. After I gathered enough diamonds, I finally made my way back out to the mine. By night, I was home, and this means I could finally create another extra heart. But first, it was time to sleep, and that means we gotta make a, a new, another mod, oh boy. So as we were getting closer and closer every day to killing the ender dragon, I thought, you know, let's make something to help me out a little bit. I modded into the game Blaze O. Oh, it was a about time that I started farming for ender pills as well, just for later on when I needed them for Eyes of Ender. I was also low on cork and Fanta, so I quickly popped into the Fanta dimension to grab some. Back in the nether now, and I was determined to find netherite because I wanted as many extra hearts as I could possibly get before the ender dragon fight. And this is when I first encountered the leather mobs that I had made, and I had to just look, just what is this? What have I created? After fixing these leather mobs, I had to kill them because I really needed leather for the enchantment table I was trying to make. I also really needed blaze rods if I wanted to get to the end. That was also on the to-do list. Oh my god, helicopters! <laughs> Let's go, helicopter! Yeah! Guys, this helicopter was um, the best idea I've ever had, ever. Let's go, helicopter, me and you, on our solo adventure. Fine. The fortress or the blaze. Oh, this is so dumb. So now me and helicopter were off on our adventures trying to find blaze rods and the fortress. As long as one thing didn't happen. As long as helicopter doesn't throw me off and kill me. Very dangerous. If I fall off right now, I'm dead. Bah, but I had enough trust in helicopter. They wouldn't throw me off. And after I explored every biome with helicopter, we finally found blaze all. The brand new, you wait, wait here for a second, helicopter buddy. Oh, blaze all, baby. I definitely did not get the colors uh, wrong. Uh, <laughs> helicopter, you wait just there while I grab my blaze all. Yeah. After finally grabbing and finding all of this blaze all, I was then heading home back to base. And this took quite a bit because I was a bit lost. But then guys, Something terrible happened. Helicopter fell into lava and died instantly on the scene. In life, Helicopter loved nothing more than likes. Even his final words was, Renny Drag, please tell the people to smash like. And then he instantly died on the spot. It was really sad. By the power of Helicopter and friendship, I finally made my way home. What a moment. One of the bigger mods that I have made is the Sonic Pet mod. If you craft this Sonic Pet and you keep hold of it, this Sonic Pet will give you infinite speed. Realizing if I wanted the home portion that teleports you straight back home, I would need bottles, so I went down to the beach to grab some sand. And when I got home, I put all the ingredients together to brew this home portion. One thing I modded into the game was this special something. And we're gonna quickly make that now. Luigi circuit, yo, let's go. Okay, right, I need a jukebox. I'm gonna spend one of the diamonds, I don't care. We splash the cash. We also have the, the portion, which is pretty cool, the home portion, quite like that, like that. Boom, let's go, guys. This is so dumb. It feels like I'm in a Renny Drag video while recording a Renny Drag video. What is going on? That was phenomenal. I need to put this in an item frame. Just pop that there, pop that there. Let's go. Whenever we need a moral boost. Pop that in, let's go back to sleep. So I felt as if my ranged weapon, my iron gun, didn't do enough damage. So I decided why not upgrade it and make a diamond gun. First thing when I got back, I spent four precious diamonds to get this diamond gun as soon as possible. And of course, smelt iron to have some bullets to go along with it. And then next on the list was to go out and get ender pills so that eventually we could go to the end. Well, this is a bit funky. There's just end stone here. The world is getting corrupted by the end. The end is near. Uh oh, this is really bizarre. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, whoa, more end. Oh, my new flowers, they're here. Yeah, okay, so you want to call these? Eh, blue, blue, blue bottle. This end of here. I need to find my way down. I'm coming in. I should have got a water bucket. Is that end water? Excuse me? What's going on down here? This is so cool though. Whoa, Enderman. You guys drop eyes. I need eyes. 
After spending ages and farming these stinky endermen, it was time to make another mod. This mod was the end chest mod. Now, these end chests would spawn around the world randomly with ender goodies that I could possibly find and use to get me into the end. I came to a conclusion that my house just did not look very good at all. I wanted my house to look a little bit better and have way more to it. I spent the day upgrading my house. I wanted to add a new fluid that spawns everywhere across the world. So I made a new lime fluid. Lime sauce in the Among Us biome. Let's grab this. Lime fluid bucket. Oh boys, we got lime fluid. This is awesome. I was in the Among Us biome to get some Among Us ingots just in case my tools or armor durability ran low or if I needed to make more hearts. Not knowing actually what to do with this lime fluid, I put it down in a hole just until I came up with an idea to actually use this lime fluid. I then upgraded the farm because I had massive plans for the farm. You'll see later on in the video. Right, we put a uh, diamond, cork, fanta, sugar, sugar. Boom, Sonic head. Gotta go fast. Let's grab this. Speed, boys. Okay, now we're gonna put this next to the miner helper. And now we've got two buffs. Oh, we are going fast. <laughs> we are going so fast. We be zooming, boys. Let's go. Okay, that is a sick upgrade. And now finally, we had our hands on the Sonic pet. And this was a huge advantage and a huge upgrade. Now, if I wanted to get enough pressured cobblestone, I would need to go mining to get a lot of cobblestone. And that's exactly what I did. After mining, I finally had an idea of what I wanted to do with the lime fluid. And what I was going to do is make two lime fountains each side of my base. And once I finally did it, it actually looked sick. Next mod now, and I really, 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 really wanted to add a minion. In honor of the true cinematic minion piece, Minions Rise of Gru. This film is truly a film. And this Minions performance in Minions Rise of Gru, let me just tell you, was absolutely phenomenal. Let's head back into Minecraft. Minion boss? Wait, I, I need to see this minion. I see minion at the top of the screen. There's two minions. Where are the minions? <gasps> minions. Oh my god, they're so big. <laughs> no! Oh god, Look at listen to the noise they make. Maybe I spawned in too many minions. That's, there's, there's two minions. On guard, minions! On guard! Ah! No! What is going on? If someone just looked at my screen right now, with absolutely no context, they would be so confused. <laughs> there is a minion horde right now. I'm actually gonna make the minions a little bit difficult to kill, because I want them to be uh, mini-bosses. Alright, the minions are a little bit stronger now. Minion! Fight me! I took on the minion in one-to-one -one combat and slayed the minion, but these minions now have a lot more health, and they are a lot stronger. It was time to sit back and chill out, because I still had lots to do with my house, and I still had big plans for my farm. As of now, my farm was only this big. It was a little baby small farm. And I realized if I wanted to do what I was planning on doing, I was going to need a massive farm. So I ran around collecting as many seeds as I could get because I really needed as much wheat as possible. By the end of the day, I had actually increased the size of my farm by a lot. But this right here, this... This was only the beginning. It was the next day. And how have I gone this far without making a banana mod? I really wanted to eat a banana in Minecraft. This is the banana mod. And to get bananas, you need to kill minions. Now, my portal collection, I'm not gonna lie. It was looking a little bit boring. So I wanted to make a really cool walkway to kind of show off all the portals in the different dimension. And after seeing how cool the pressure cobble looked around my base, I upgraded my base even more. And after that, I went back to increase the size of my farm because like I said, this needs to be huge. And now this is where the plan came into hand. You see, I wanted to make a mod that would really help me beat the Ender Dragon. And like Farmer Joe over there, as I was enjoying my farming, I thought, why not make a super bread? And that's exactly what I did. I came up with a mod idea where if you craft three wheat, you get one super wheat. And if you craft three super wheat, you get a super mega wheat. And you craft three of those, you get another wheat. And you craft three of those, you get another wheat until you craft three of those and you get one of the best breads ever. Now, this sounds really, really dumb. And I agree with you. But I think it's a really cool way of getting an OP item. Fasten your seatbelts, grab some popcorn, because we're about to do a lot of farming. Let's do this, oh boy. But first, I need to give the seed some time to grow. So, I'm actually going to head to the nether and look for some netherite so I can get as many hearts as I can before the end of dragon fight again. And now with the miner helper combined with the sonic pet, everything was so much quicker. I could mine and find netherite 10 times quicker now. Down here, I modded in the next week to the game. And while mining, I realized how dark it was, so I decided to make a nether lamp. I eventually got everything I needed and headed home. It was then time to make the super bread. And after finally figuring out what I wanted it to look like, I added it straight to the game. Boys, it's time that we can acquire the super duper mega awesome bread. 
and I am ready. The farm over here, we might have to expand it a little bit more. I want to create the first super duper mega bread today. We need to expand this farm so we can get a lot of wheat. And also, one thing I wanted to do was check out the nether lantern. Oh my gosh. Right, let's cut down these trees for a second. Boyos. Okay, if we surround netherrack like that with a... Ooh, nether lamp. That's the nether lamp. That looks awesome. Wow. Boop. There we go. Okay, that emits light. That's awesome. Right, let's upgrade this farm. And then it was back to good old me getting as much seeds as I could possibly find. I chucked down some of my cool nether lamps by the farm to make the seeds grow faster. And for this day, I just made good progress on the farm. And before I knew it, I was back in the nether, still looking for netherite, pretty much for one reason only. I needed hearts. I also think the nether lamps was quite a neat touch to these ancient debris tunnels. They actually look pretty cool. It took me a lot of mining to, to find more ancient debris, but eventually I found more. To join Compressed Cobblestone on its Compressed Cobbly Adventures, I then made Compressed Netherrack. I then used this block to upgrade where I kept all my netherrack, which was pretty cool. I then smelted down the scraps that I had just mined, turned them into netherite ingots, and then turned those into extra Rennie hearts. And because I had the materials, I made another one, and that was two extra hearts. Boys, I think it's time. I think it is time. I have four super duper wheat. One, two, three. Oh! <gasps> Super duper mega bread. Oh, look at it. It's glorious. It is. It's bread. I have put that in Photoshop and I've just blasted the saturation and light and you can't even tell it's bread anymore. Let's eat it. Let's eat the super duper bread. <laughs> uh, let's go. I'm okay. This is a bit OP. I think I'll rework this mod because this might be a little bit OP. I'm not going to eat it again just because it'll give me a thing. I'm going to make it harder to get, but I'm going to quickly do that when I sleep for the next day. I'll do that for the next day. But in the meanwhile, we got to keep on farming, boys. You can't even see the axe move. Let's go! Right, let's head to bed, boys. Now, that's probably giving you a glimpse of how OP I wanted this bread to be, which only meant I had to nerf it, and I'd have to give it way more layers of wheat. And that's why I modded in the mutant wheat. And I also added the, the final, final wheat. I think I made it a little bit better. You're gonna have to bear with me for a second, because this is gonna take a lot of wheat. We get super duper wheat. You then grab three super duper wheats. Mutant wheat. Okay, now we're gonna have to try and get some mutant wheat. Um, this may take a while. It is time to create the biggest wheat farm known to mankind, because we're gonna need to get a lot of mutant wheat. It's, go it's gotta be bigger than this. So that was the plan. Upgrade this farm and make it as big as I possibly could. While farming, I did make a mod where you could convert dirt into seeds. And I needed a lot of seeds. Right, I've finally, after building this wheat farm, it's just a little bit of seeds. I have three mutant wheat. And now we put these mutant wheat together and we're back to the final wheat. Yeah, now we need to get three final wheat to craft the god bread. I'm going to call it the god bread because it's so OP and so good. And yeah, but it takes a lot of wheat. So I'm going to keep this blue wheat in here. Now I'm also going to need to get an enchanting table, an enchanting room, which means I'm going to need leather. Uh, still a lot to do, boys. And then we will be on our journey to defeat the ender dragon. Next mods were nice mods to help increase the quality of life. I added a mod where now you can stone cut wood into paper. It makes sense. There were still a few improvements that I could make to the base, like adding these stairs. These stairs look very cool. I popped into the oak dimension just to restock on oak logs. I was really set on getting an enchanting table, so I started to craft some books. And obviously, to get books, I needed a lot of paper and a lot of leather. So that's what I did. I set out to get as much sugarcane as I could. And this also meant that if I got sugarcane, I could also start my very own sugarcane farm. Back at home now, and I've collected a medium amount of sugarcane, and I crafted this into paper straight away. And while I was here, I realized I have no bananas, and I really want bananas. So I went out hunting to kill a few minions and steal their bananas. I'm so sorry, minions. I also found a ruined portal here, which gave me some cool loot. I was feeling as if we needed a little bit more decoration. So I made this cool block so I could use it to make things look a lot cooler, and, and yeah. And to craft this, you need cobblestone and quartz. Knowing that I wanted a lot of this block, I set out straight away to get as much cobblestone that I could possibly get. 
Unlucky for me, from my mining trips to the nether, I had a lot of spare quartz to use. After completing the floor and making my house look snazzy, I headed straight back to that portal that I found to steal the obsidian so that I could make an enchanting table. I made a nice spot for the table and realized that I was not close enough at all to having enough bookshelves. So I made my way back out on an adventure to collect as much sugarcane that I could possibly get again. I didn't invest this sugarcane straight away into books. I actually upgraded the sugarcane farm. I then added to the game Corrupt Endstone. And this would actually give you part of the void when you broke it. And here we are again looking for more sugarcane. I am so efficiently good at farming sugarcane, as you can tell. But friends, do not worry, because by night, I had acquired enough sugarcane, and we had done it. Here's another bookshelf to the collection, and another one. Wow. And here's the new latest mod for the end, the Chorus Fruit Block. I did enough farming to end up with two final wheats, but this still wasn't enough. I still needed one more. And now, to upgrade the farm again. <laughs> Now this farm, this farm has never seen better days. It was almost double the size it originally was. Okay, I lied. I might need a little bit more sugar cane. As I was heading to the end, I may as well make some end related mods. And the next mod on the list was actually Ender IO. This was inspired from one of my latest videos. And I gotta say, it actually turned out to look pretty cool. Today's the day where we actually go out and find the stronghold, but don't do anything. I followed the Ender Eyes far and wide to see where the stronghold was. And it actually turned out that it was pretty far away. On this journey, I did actually find ender eye all along the way and this was useful because I could use this to craft more ice Upon arriving the destination at night I actually set up a little cobblestone base because the stronghold was actually below water and with all my excitement to get to the end So I actually ended up making a new end dimension You'll see gathering the end stone from the corrupted biomes. I found earlier I actually used this end stone to find the end key I then constructed and put together the brand new ends portal I then quickly went over to surround this in compressed cobble and added it straight to the portal collection. So let's go check out this new dimension. Okay, so it turns out this dimension is like a super flat world, but the end. This is what the end would look like in a super flat world. And now back to the farm where I ended up expanding the sugarcane farm even more. And I also could not forget about the wheat I had growing back here that I stole from the farmer. After making the small brain mistake of making real bread instead of super wheat, I made a mod where you could turn bread back into wheat. Finally, we have three final wheat. Oh, Oh, it's been so long and I've expanded all of this farm. We've got a new pole. We've got all this thing, all this sugar cane, everything. And before I fight the dragon, I do want to enchant my armor if I can. And I want to get some bread. Super bread. Super mod bread. <laughs> Super duper mega bird. Let's go. Okay. Oh, it looks so powerful. We're gonna hold on to this, boys. We're gonna need to make us. We're gonna need to make more. Maybe I should probably expand this farm. Well, let's have a look in one of these uh, end things. Now, considering that I couldn't make anything OP, I also made a rule that I couldn't actually get an elytra until I beat the end of dragon. We found the city at the end of the game, even though this is not even the end of the game. We haven't even beat the dragon yet. But oh well, the game doesn't need to know that. Lol. Sorry, game. I can make shulker boxes though. That's cool. Uh oh. Give me all your shulkers. I should have brought milk, guys. I'm a. I'm a Stuck. Oh, you guys are done goofed. Die. Brrrup. Let's get out of here, boys. Chalka box. Because my farm was growing and I had a lot of time to spare, I decided why not build an Among Us. I want to build an Among Us here. These villagers are going to be so confused. Just so confused. Why is there a giant Among Us? <laughs> nice. Okay, this portion is going to teleport us to the stronghold. And this is the design that I chose on for this end portion. Let's get some in for a second, because I need to get that end portion. Make glass portals. Okay, if we get the brooms down and pop an eye of ender in here. Ooh, it's smelting. <gasps> end portion. The end is coming. <laughs> Let's drink the end portion. Let's do this. Hello, doggy. <gasps> oh, here we go. It worked. We're now at the stronghold, boys. Okay, let's actually find the stronghold. How am I going to do this? I don't know. Yeah. There we go. They say never dig straight down, but you know what? We're going to do it anyway. Purple water. Excuse me. Hello. Okay, guys. Going to add a grenade. Eh. How do I draw shapes? Here we go. Throwable bomb. Right. While we wait for night to get the creepers, I think it would be cool to finish oh, the Among man. Us. Is that tall enough? There we go. That's perfect. Farm mobs down in the cave. Oh, oh, that's why we have a shield equipped, kids. Hey, gunpowder, gunpowder, please, gunpowder, please. Oh, yes, gunpowder. Okay, that, surrounded with gunpowder. Boom, we got ourselves a bomb. I'm kind of scared to use this. I don't die. Let's see if the bomb works. Oh, that hurt me from over there. I'm sorry, piggies. 
Well, that's a lot of damage. Okay, before I go to bed, let's try and get another super bread. I then farmed into the night, collecting enough wheat for another super duper god bread. Yeah, super duper mega bread. All of this, this entire farm, just this one bit, only gives us one super duper mega bread. And the new mod is an update to the old mod, which allows you to cut full logs into paper. There we go, 30 bucks. Okay, now we need to just get more wood. Any more leather mobs around here that I can kill? Sorry, guys. Oh, no, minion. Ah! It's like heading into the back rooms. I need to make it like a path back. Uh-oh, the minions are here. Causing a bit of chaos. Ooh, what's that? Whoa, this is a weird biome. After going as far as I could into the Fanta biome and collecting as much leather that I needed, I headed back home to complete the enchanting table. What do we need? Do you know what we need? We need feather falling. Ooh, I'm breaking three. Protection for death. I'm breaking three. Protect. Don't mind if I do. Nice. Last but not least, let's get the helmet done. We are stacked. All right, let's go mining for quartz level up. Quickly, let's sleep though. XP ore. This is my best attempt at XP. <laughs> XP ore has been located. Yeah. So I needed to mine XP ore just to get enough XP so I could enchant my pickaxe and my morbid sword. What did I just... I do be zooming, boys. And also along the way, I found some eye ore as well. I think it's time, boys. I need to get everything ready. Right. Wish me luck, boys. Let's do this. <gasps> We're here. Okay. I got enough materials to set up a base above the stronghold. And at this point, to mine down to the stronghold, I actually needed to make a normal pickaxe because otherwise my Among Us pickaxe would destroy everything. Okay, we've arrived. Ow. When you reach the stronghold for the first time, normally you'd explore it, have a look around, but nope, nope this time. I had the Among Us pickaxe. I just mined. <gasps> Let's go. First try, baby. Skate. Die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. It's time, boys. Let's do this. Three, two, one. The end question mark. Oh, look at this thing. I forgot I made so many mods to add to the end. That actually looks pretty cool. Okay, right. Let's not fall off. We're here. Oh my gosh. Everyone is here. All the mobs. Can I can I get some course fruit? Yes, I can. Let's eat the super duper mega bread. Woo! It's game time, baby. Let's go. Where you at, dragon? Let's go! Oh, oh, okay, that hit, that hit, that hit. No more healing for you, Mr. Dragon. Eh, just throw grenades. We are so stacked, oh my. No, 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 you don't need a heal, Dragon. Okay, how much damage does one shot do? Ah, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, wait, we gotta get down for this, we gotta get down for this. You've made your match, Dragon. It's me. It's time to Renny drag these nuts across your face, dragon. That was a lot cooler, man. Let's go! We did it, boys. Oh my god, we killed the dragon. That was actually really- How much XP? Okay, give me XP. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. 64? Right, let's go! What does this do again? Oh. Helicopter is- Okay, guys, we can use the helicopters to reverse the end cities. <laughs> let's go! Let's freaking go, gamers. We made it to the end city. Oh, yeah. Okay, how do I- Trap though, maybe? Oh, everyone's here again. <laughs> Let's get some chorus plants. Chorus through time. Minions sound for us. So scary. Why did I do this? What am I doing in the nether? Uh, in the end. Hi, guys. The end okay, let's go on a helicopter. Any end cities with my render distance max, maybe? I'm coming home, baby. Now let's get out of here. 360. Nice. Go back through the portal. And we're back home. It's been an adventure, I gotta say. Yeah, that looks so perfect. Let's get an elytra from this, because I did say. I don't know what happened to my hearts, guys. I did it. Oh, that was close. I guess if you beat the game, your hearts reset. Elytra. Let's get this elytra, baby. Sky's the limit. I agree. Woohoo! Let's go! Yeah, buddy! This is awesome. We got an elytra now. Whoop! Let's go to bed. Guys, to celebrate, I wanted to make something special for the last day. 100 days, the 100th mod, a 100th painting. And there it is. Guys, if you're still watching all the way to the end, you're a true Renia. Thank you so much. I cannot thank you all enough. And guys, just to let you know, I'll be uploading a lot more now on the second channel. I don't think I'll upload here for the next few weeks because I'm away. So you'll see me over on the second channel. Go subscribe right now. And let me know if you want to see more 100 day videos. And without further ado, I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Thank you guys so much. Genuinely, this has been a fun project.